The insulin pump is about the size of a pager. It's worn against the skin or on a waistband, depending on the type of pump, and delivers tiny amounts of insulin through the skin on a continuous basis. The student wears the pump all of the time. It's battery powered and has a computer chip that regulates the delivery of insulin and a bolus calculator that can measure the right amount of insulin to cover meals and snacks. But it still has to be programmed to deliver extra insulin at meals and whenever blood glucose is high. The student still has to check his or her blood glucose to make sure levels are within target range and that insulin is being properly delivered. Just push a button and insulin is automatically delivered through a small catheter inserted under the skin. As with any student with diabetes, you need to keep a watchful eye out for signs of trouble, such as hyperglycemia or high blood glucose. Hang on a sec. Hang on a sec. This may result from clogged tubing or a dislodged catheter, which will cause the pump to alarm. If insulin is not being properly delivered from the pump, the pump may have to be disconnected, and the student may need an injection by pen or syringe, as specified in his or her diabetes medical management plan.